Welcome to Chef Dan's Cooking Tutorials. Here I'm going to show you how to prepare your ingredients, mix your spices and then cook the dish. If you haven't got all your ingredients ready, now is the time to pause the video, get all your ingredients ready and then we can start cooking. But in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you're notified when I post new videos. And hopefully with my uh, experience, uh, you'll be able to cook great Indian cuisine. Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Chef Din and I'm going to show you today how to cook shami kebab. Now, we've all had shami kebab in our local Indian restaurant, but have you had it this way? Because this is a traditional shami kebab and uh, I used to make shami kebabs completely different in my restaurant when I used to uh, have it on the menu and that was just like a uh, spice mince meat uh, mixed up and we would use that to make shami kebab we'd use that to make sheik kebab and uh, also kima naan but this way is how you make shami kebab the authentic way so let me uh, begin and uh, show you how it's all done if you follow the video uh, all the way through you, you'll be able to create this uh, shami kebab and you have to tell me in the comments what you think of it once you make it because it's, you've probably not had it in an Indian restaurant. Uh, this is the way it's normally done, the shami kebab, uh, the traditional way. And uh, as you can see, we're going to cook the meat, the onions, the garlic, ginger, uh, salt, cinnamon, cloves, uh, all the other ingredients, which you will find in the description, the total list, and at the beginning of the video as well. So you can pause the video at the beginning and basically write down everything you need before you start. And then we're going to add all our spices as well. Here I'm adding turmeric, as you can see, and some gram masala as well. Just about half a teaspoon or so. It doesn't have to be 100% precise. Uh, and we're going to add some cumin as well. This will give it a nice rich flavour. So basically what we're doing is cooking the meat and the lentils uh, for a good hour and a half to really break down the meat and the lentils and then we're going to smash it or put it in a food processor which you will see later on in the video and uh, basically uh, then prepare it. So let's not talk too much and I'll let you uh, just watch the video and see how it's all done. Right, as you can see, it's been about an hour and a half now since we've uh, been cooking this under really low uh, heat. 
And now what we're going to do is take out uh, all the cinnamon and the cardamom and the long uh, before we put it in uh, a food processor to break it down. You can use a pestle and mortar to break it down. Uh, that's what they normally do. But I'm going to make it a little bit easier and just throw everything in a pr food processor and blend it into a nice paste, as you can see. Just keep uh, bringing it down, uh, it'll make it easier to uh, bring into a paste. We're not going to add anything to it, but as I say, if you've got a nice uh, pestle and mortar, you can put it in the pestle and mortar like I'm doing now, and just smash it down, uh, as you can see. Now is the time we're going to just add a few more ingredients to this, because remember, it has all the flavour to this. We're, we've cooked it with all the spices and so on. So basically all we're going to do is add a few more ingredients and then we're going to mix it up and then begin to uh, get our uh, shami kebabs ready. So first what, what we want to do is add a fresh egg. That will bind it together as well or help with the binding. And then we're going to add some fresh green uh, coriander. But you can add some fresh green chilies as well if you like. That's entirely up to you. That's optional. So mix this all together and uh, then we'll be ready to make our patties or our shami kebabs. But to this first I'm going to add some ghee uh, or you can add a little bit of oil. Probably about a taste, tablespoon to two tablespoons. This will just give it a bit more moistness to it when it cooks. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of ghee. You can melt this down a little bit before you put it in and make it much easier. And then just uh, grab a small amount like uh, I'm doing here and just bring it into a uh, like a, a patty style. But what I'm going to do as well, uh, I don't want too much oil soaking into the patties or chamois kebab. So I'm going to just uh, coat it with a little bit of flour and uh, egg. So uh, get yourself a, a one raw egg, give it a good mix, add a little bit of salt to it. And then basically uh, also get some flour as well. Uh, plain flour I'm going to use. You can use a little bit of uh, rice flour as well if you want a little bit of crunch to it but I'm going to just use plain uh, fl white flour and then once you've got your patties together then basically just uh, dip it into the uh, flour and then uh, dip it into the egg or sometimes I sometimes dip it into the egg first and then dip it into the flour. Entirely up to you but uh, that's what we're going to do. So do this and get all your patties ready on a plate before we start to fry. Right, now we've got all our patties near enough ready, then what we want to do is, in a large saucepan, get uh, probably about a uh, half inch uh, of oil uh, and get it nice and hot. Uh, and then turn it down to medium heat and then we're going to fry these. Uh, it will take uh, a few minutes on each side uh, so it's nice and golden on both sides. Make sure the oil is not too hot and not too cold. By putting the egg like we've done, it'll seal it so that it won't get too oily, the shami kebabs. So just continue this way as you can see and keep uh, frying them gently. Don't turn it over too many times. I'm going to just flip it once uh, so the other side can cook. Uh, and uh, that way you're having less movement to this and you yes, keep it shape. So this is my chamois kebab. I hope you give this a go. And please let me know in the comments what you think. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends so they can benefit in cooking all these delicious dishes I have on my channel. And uh, there you go. This is my chamois kebab.
There you go. This is my chamois kebab, the traditional method of making chamois kebab. And I'm sure you and your guests will enjoy it. Serve it with a little bit of uh, seasonal salad and also uh, some mint sauce, which I normally do. Uh, you'll find the mint sauce recipe on my channel. It's very easy to do and delicious as a starter. Chamois kebab. I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching.